What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the podcast. This is podcast New Metal. Technically, too, because I didn't put out the last one. I don't know. I got to get the editing part together because, uh, y'all, it's a lot. It's a lot to edit, and um, I almost started to add more editing. I, I it ain't no almost to be about great. started. She said that she was going to try to add more on her plate today. No, ma'am. I just want, I just want the shit to be good with no echoing. And Is that too much? That I, I honestly don't know if that's gonna happen because I'm a loud motherfucker. Facts. That's why you should keep the mic. I think you should turn it here. That's what I was trying to do earlier. Well, I don't want to lean back either, because then. I might get sleepy. <laughs> Jesus, I did just get tired. done working out. We both just got done working out. Okay, so but no, I don't want to lean back. I'm gonna stay up. But just turn, up. turn the mic. You can turn it that way. Oh, cause the cord. Mm-hmm. Well, all of that'll make you lean. Well, just try and keep it that way, and I'm gonna keep mine over here. But um, so welcome back, y'all. So the the topic of discussion today is arguments mm-hmm. with couples. Um, I I just want to put this one message out there. Y'all got to stop thinking couples don't argue on on YouTube. And uh, for some reason, like honestly, that's kind of slow of some people because it's that's that's like a a human thing. And mm-hmm. I don't know. Last time y'all checked, but. I believe the same way y'all do. What about yourself? Uh, yeah, I think they just get, uh, it's almost like they put us in the category of uh, TV, uh, you know what I'm saying? But y'all got to understand that t- reality TV, reality TV is half real, half scripted, all same shit. And they're all human and they all actually went through some of that shit, but half of that shit was scripted just so y'all can get some pleasure out of it and. But nine times out of ten, all of it was real. <laughs> Wait a minute. Was it real? Was it fake? Mm, okay. Really, it was scripted. But um, Real some, and scripted. Yeah, some shit, they be some, actually fighting. Some, yep. And sometimes they actually they don't. They actually don't The be. point is, people <laughs> actually go through shit just like you. Get it together. Okay. But um, we as a couple argue, and we argue about petty things. You know what I'm saying? And us being Leos makes it even worse because both of us want to be right. Okay, no matter uh, how many times T.T. say she don't. I did say I want to be right. I just, I agree. Well, see, we can't put that out because we just did. We actually <laughs> yes. just did a whole look. Yes, well, we ended I up- agreed in that video and I'm going to agree again. Yes, we are both Leos and want to uh, be right when we want to be right. When we say the shit that we say, we want to be right. Whenever we say what we want to say, we want to be right with what we say. Right. Period. She just Period, point blank. Blaming me more than anything. What'd you say? Because I just can't be blaming you. me more than anything. That's what I you said. love blaming me too. So right. let's not. Let's, like I said, we, we can blame just, each other. We can blame each other. Uh huh. Yeah. Anyway, I want to get back on that phone situation because it's yeah. crap. So the pettiest argument we ever got into was we was at a restaurant. We was not in a relationship. No. I had my. We I actually had, did a video on this. Yeah. I, I put my. I was texting or something. I flipped my phone over. I put it down on the table. Now, I did not intentionally flip my phone over. That's just how I put the damn phone down. And she told me that uh, I don't need to hide anything. She don't. We family. That's what I said. Once again, I have no reason to hide anything. So for me to intentionally do that was just not a thing. I don't know why you thought I cared that much to do that. I didn't say that you cared that much. I just said you didn't have to do that because most people do. So you can't say that most people don't flip their phone because they are hiding some shit. What I'm saying is most people do. You just happen to not be one of those people. But most people do flip their phone when they're hiding shit. They have, they, niggas always do shit like that. And Bitches that might be the issue. Like, that. like for Because real. me, at the end of the day, Bro, my phone, my phone. I don't care if I'm flipping it, throwing it, tossing it, putting it in a trash can. I'm putting it down. That's it. I'm not thinking about why I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. I'm not intentionally trying to do it. And I damn sure ain't trying to hide nothing if I'm not in a relationship with you. 
Right. I knew who you was fucking and you knew who I was fucking. Right. Why would I be hiding something from you? That's what I want to know from you. I don't know. Crazy. Once again, I was drinking, so I don't know. Yeah, we learned that day for her to not ever be on white. Well, I was drinking. She was drinking. And her ass decided to come home and act funny with her family. That's what it was. I was, well, I was on that drink, honey, and it just came out. Oh, Why you got to oh, act like that oh, with us? The, the Hell, you been gone for a month, and you want to come here and just want to, okay, really? It's like that. That's what it was. So, yeah, in that situation, I had came back from a toxic situation, and uh, I didn't know how to feel. Mm-hmm. So, that's what it was. You didn't know how to take what I was trying to say because really I didn't give a fuck about what it was it's just how you treated us and we supposed to be family what you hiding from your family is what I was saying once again I still wasn't hiding anything. once again I understand <laughs> that but that's what I said that day oh, so I'm so just explaining just oh, okay. explaining why yeah like arguments but that was petty as fuck arguments with couples are petty as fuck okay and um yeah I don't I don't think that'll ever change I think that's a lifelong thing that we gonna have to learn to deal with arguing with our that <laughs> Child. it's it's honestly the worst shit ever I, i've gotten to the point where i have started to shut down again though mm-hmm. i don't um i don't want to argue mm-hmm, me i don't either. i don't want to debate either me especially either. if i feel as though you may be wrong about something or i feel as though I'm wrong about something, but I can't fucking explain to you mm-hmm. what what the issue is. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Same here. That shit if is I can't if I can't figure it out in my head and make it make it sound right in my head so I can articulate it to you, then I just don't say nothing. And then normally when it comes to me, well, like if you get you know like something comes to me because you're upset about something, and then it comes out, it's always fucked up because obviously I didn't thought about it no more because it's. I'm not trying to. I'm like, I'm not even trying to go there. So I normally just fucking, it just goes that way. It goes, goes yeah. down the drain. It goes it's way. It goes. I, I tell you what, y'all recently wrote, I was upset about something and I decided not to talk about it for two weeks. That's new. Because normally I say it right then and there. Yeah. I don't feel like you should say things right then and there anymore. And that's the issue we have now because she feels as though I should say it right then and there. But it's going to start an argument. Well, I only think that you should say it right then and there just so that whatever is on your mind right then and there, it's out. It doesn't come out two weeks later because although you still have those feelings, you might not have the exact same feelings that you feel that night. So I need to know exactly how you feel that night because two weeks from now, although it happened, Two weeks from now, you didn't let that shit sit. And although it could sit and not be what it is, or it can sit and be even more than what it is, is what I'm saying. So instead of that, although it can go right, it can go left. But why not fucking just squash it just like you've been wanting me to do from the very beginning? I used to run like it, a motherfucker. But it won't be squashed. It will Especially be. if you don't feel like. So the issues with relationships is if I don't feel like I'm wrong, then we're going to argue. So if you don't feel like you're wrong, which is what happened today, we went back and forth until I had to show you mm-hmm. what the fuck is actually like what you mm-hmm. said. So mm-hmm. I, I now it's kind of like if we going back and forth in that moment and it ain't making no sense, why are we going back and forth? If that makes it like, how are we going to solve anything if we both upset? Well, because I done made you upset because I've offended you with what I am upset about. Okay, repeat that again so I can really answer this question. Go ahead. If if I'm upset about something and you don't see where I'm coming Mm -hmm. from, you can't relate because Mm -hmm. you don't feel as though you did anything wrong. Mm -hmm. That's an issue that me and you have. Mm Mm-hmm. So in that moment, I can't articulate it correctly because I'm upset. Mm -hmm. So maybe I need to wait Mm -hmm. because if I say it, it's going to come out Mm -hmm. mean, first of all. Mm -hmm. It's not even going to come out the way I would like it to. Mm -hmm. And you're not going to receive it in that way because you didn't mean to say it right in that way. Right. So So that's where the agree to disagree comes in, because 
because of just what you said, if I can't articulate it to you in a way that you can understand it and because of your emotions and because you are angry and because you're, you know, shit happens. That's okay to agree to disagree and say, okay, cool. Or not even to agree to disagree, just revisit the shit. Like you don't technically have to say that the shit is dead, it, but you can say we can revisit this later. So, you know what I'm saying? Because certain things can't get, we are, we, all of us human. Like when you are upset about something, you'll start saying all types of shit. Just, just what the fuck? Like, because you're just fucking mad. And, you're and, just mad as fuck. And so, I'm that person. Right. So, so I'm that person. And I am too. So that's right. why in the beginning, I used to tell you, give me my time. If you don't give me my time to actually figure out what the fuck, when the fuck, how the fuck you going to get what you get. And then I'm asked out because I didn't get a chance to do that. So now I'm glad that you said that because now you're on that. Like, that's good because you really do need to think about how you feeling, how that's going to make somebody else feel, how to say it is that, but even when you think that you can be wrong by the way that you didn't say it in your head. And then when it comes out, it could be wrong. But once again, when you do that, that's when you come together and say, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say it like that. I meant to say it like this. This is exactly what I meant. And you are supposed to take it from there and say, okay, I understand that you said it like that, but this is how I received it. And it made me feel this way. So I'm, I'm going to still feel this way because of the way that you said it, but I understand the way that you meant it and then you can move past it you can't keep holding what I said or what you said initially if you didn't say it that's not what I meant I meant this that's <laughs> what us humans do we stick on what the first person what you said first because that might not even be exactly what you wanted to say you know what I'm saying it's you're forcing the person to talk to you because you're mad and we, well, we right. do that and too that's, but that's why I didn't want to do that mm -hmm. I don't want to I don't want to speak to you when I'm angry because mm -hmm. a you you're not going to receive it right I don't receive it when you're angry right we are the type that we cannot speak to each other in an anger an anger I don't know an angry in an angry tone manner or an angry manner we can't speak to each other in an angry manner you know what I'm saying because we ain't gonna receive it we Leos we bulls who you who the fuck are you talking to right so that's just not how we're gonna receive that so that's why I decided, okay, you know what? I know she ain't going to see this right now, mm -hmm. especially with the, the topic. I commend you on that. Mm -hmm. huh? I said, I commend you on yeah, that. Yeah, especially with the topic. It's just like, well, wait, let me say it in a better way. Mm -hmm. Even though I'm offended, I can, I, I got enough, you know, I, I, I'm not as angry as I used to be. So mm -hmm. now I can just kind of revisit it. Like you said, mm -hmm. right. And, and, and then we can speak about it later. So, I mean, that's what your main thing was in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Can we just fucking revisit this and talk about it later? Right. It, it, because it, when you when you are to the point to where your emotions are so high and to the point to where your mind is racing on another level to where you can't even Move think about your, your words. Move that mouse. I'm sorry. Just so it won't. Mm -hmm. Um. Um, what I was saying, oh yeah, to where you can't um know the the words to come, to even say to right. your person, you know what I'm saying? Then yeah, that's exactly when you, what you need to do is be quiet because you can say the wrong things, you can hurt that person, and and we are Leos. I'm so sorry, y'all. Whoever's dealt with us, uh, we Man. cut like a knife, and Man. we do it to each other. So just it, it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I, what I will say is we can handle it better than yes, y'all can definitely. <laughs> definitely we don't it don't hurt our feelings we get pissed yeah but we hurt other people's feelings definitely we definitely do we we are definitely those people I, but I, don't fuck with us and we won't have to fuck with you back it's alone. just it you know what I'm, saying? But I'm gonna always fuck with her because she my bitch so whatever i mean it is what it is it is what it is but um <clears throat> yeah i just want to say that we we got better with that but we've gotten better with arguments in general yeah because i was a runner yeah she's a runner she's a jack star. she's a runner she's a track star runner. i was not for it she gonna run ain't nobody got time okay ain't nobody got time i ain't got time you was out of here for real Hit i ain't dash. got time i don't like to face anything that's confrontational i hate confrontation well, she do now yeah I'll sit there. <clears throat> she do now. Before I get the fuck up out the car, I'll get out the car, I'll, girl. Get the fuck out, haul ass. <laughs> Definitely, I will haul, haul ass. ass. But I will say, you stopped that. Mm -hmm. You stopped that a minute ago. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, who's in the kitchen? 
Ok. <laughs> Because we doing the podcast, you can't go in our bathroom now. It's unfortunate. Something's out that you can't see, honey. We just What gonna have to doing? go in the bathroom and wait. I mean, in the room and wait. Who? Right in the bathroom? Mm -hmm. Right here yet. Ray stay in the bathroom for an hour with you. Okay. Two. She'll be sitting on the phone playing her game while she on the toilet. I'll be like, baby, can you go check on her? Can you she ain't doing shit. <laughs> I guarantee it. Yeah, She's don't not doing anything. She, don't worry. She'll pop up in there because I know Did what people mind. I told you she wasn't doing shit no. at all. Your sister got to use it. Your sister has to use it. Uh-huh. <laughs> See? On Roblox, y'all. Somebody been Who the else kids like, do that? You got to pop in on your kids? Told you. Who else kids do Roblox on the toilet? Child know people be buzzing in the, on their kids in the bathroom. Child. What the fuck? Okay. And they on Roblox. I'm just on Roblox. <laughs> <laughs> what, what else would you think I'll be doing okay. here, mommy? They not even Nothing. thinking about it. Okay. <laughs> they are on Roblox, honey. She was like, Child, I, had, having to, to keep London I had to pee. I forgot. I was trying to play Roblox and I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> forgot I had to pee. I'm glad we don't have boys because um, I heard boys getting a shower and don't wash. My what? mama used to have to pop in on my brother and make sure he What washed. you mean? Don't wash his Peter Wacker? Well, just they'll get in the shower and let the water run on them and don't use soap. Oh, that's just bad. That's just people in general for me. Who? Oh. Man, child. That's people in my family that I've known that grown up. Just run water, honey. That be the no young man. shit. Just run the water. Just yeah, trying to get over. Because you be trying to you'd be trying to get up out the bathroom, trying to get back to your whatever you was doing on the phone normally. On the phone, playing the game. So you go up in there, your mom say, Go ahead and take a shower. You know it's about time for you to go to bed. Okay. You got like fifteen minutes. You so like you go up in there. All right. <laughs> Okay, get all the good spots. So when she say, let me smell. <laughs> Here, <Hell>, mama. <laughs> And done. I said, uh-uh, let me smell under your arm. Uh -uh. That be, let me smell up under your arm. Lord have mercy. Because they don't do that. You do your arm. You thinking they just going to say, nah, I'm under your arm. You got me fucked up. I need to know. So, y'all, recently, you want to talk about uh, the school situation? Okay. So, recently, um, we've enrolled the children into, uh, what is it? It is power homeschool okay so it's a homeschool and homeschool and um how was day one day one was <laughs> day one was good uh we did orientation um so basically orientation for them is they navigate on the computer so they show them exactly where they see their scores where they get their schedules how they count their steps steps in this for homeschool is basically like the courses like how many courses you have to go through for the day so like if you're in math like normally you'll have what a worksheet and or two or whatever mm -hmm. that's their steps so they'll have 13 steps okay. for tomorrow for um their math class so they have 13 steps and then they go through that and they can go through everything so they can go through math science social studies language arts whatever but today was basically that we just looked at everything they did a pretest to see exactly where they were and in this they are able to um if you don't um know eighth grade or ninth grade or tenth grade you can go back to your eighth grade math to refresh that up oh. and then go on to your ninth grade and do that and oh, if nah, you that's dope yeah if you um they let you take the test over and over and over until you get it right like it's it's I like that over and over I like they're say. not going to <clears throat> they don't want you to fail so they yeah. give you chance after chance so when you when you mess up they're going to give you a worksheet they're going to give you a video to look at they're going to give you a game or something like that and then they let you do it again yeah like public school they don't really give you a chance I know I got passed a lot just to yeah. get passed just to be passed um, we had the nobody left behind yeah they have like that here program oh yeah nobody yeah, left nah, behind program terrible. But mm -hmm. um, I would love to get into conversation about how these schools aren't teaching shit anyway. But no, um, they're not. It's it's funny how <clears throat> when I actually got into the um group because I'm actually in a face group Facebook group, all the parents was like, I can just pull my kid out. I just it'd be just just one that just wrote me today. She was like, I just pulled my daughter out. She's in the 11th grade, and it's because she had social anxiety, like at being at school. So. 
with oh it. oh she pulled her out of homeschool or no she put her out, out of school, public school out of public school to be homeschooled she said uh, you'll be amazed with how how well she's doing now that she's homeschooled because she's able to relax she's able to yeah. do her work she's able to be herself yeah. you know what i'm saying so yeah yeah i actually i went through bullying and some more shit and i mean honestly it made me who i am today however um if i had the option to do homeschool I would probably would have took that option simply I because of, of what I went through. I probably wouldn't be the person I am today. I'd probably be somebody different um, because of all the shit that I was going through mm-hmm. in school. You know what I'm saying? And that was one of my main things. Like, I don't I don't want the kids to go through that shit. You know what I'm saying? And granted, you can't hide them from it. You no. know, and ain't nobody trying and to. And homeschool, but believe it or not, homeschool kids get bullied the most. Why? Because they ain't never been in the public school. They always, oh, no. they are. They get bullied where? They get bullied when they go to jobs. Oh, so yeah, when you go and you, have a job. nope, they won't. But uh, <laughs> when they but go no, to jobs and stuff like that, because I, I actually had a little girl when, when I was a manager, you know what I'm saying? She came and she was homeschooled and she used to get, she used to tell me all the time. She said she used to get bullied because she was homeschooled. And she was like, um, I think it's funny because I'm smarter than most of smarter them. Like than everybody. smarter than everybody. Do you understand me? Ain't nothing like your mama teaching you some real shit. Smart as all shit. I mean, smart as fuck. So I don't understand why people would still bully somebody for being homeschooled. I would want to, man, if my mama and my daddy taught me half the shit, man, what? I guarantee you I would have flew through that shit. Yeah, I would have nah, been facts. bored in a motherfucker. I'm not going to lie. I think, this, I think this is amazing. My and kids I, are excited about yeah, it. And yeah. I'm, I'm glad that they're doing that. That's that's some dope shit. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's just an update on the school thing for the kids. I don't remember we talked about it last I know we said something before that we was going to end up doing it, but yeah, we was letting them know that with all the shit that's going on in the world, we was back and forth on it. So they did know that they was virtual and since virtual, child, they kicked them out. Child. First of all, they kicked my kids out because of their attendance, because they, they were marking my kids absent. Although they were present they saw their faces um they raised their hands they even asked for assignments they ignored my kids so i wouldn't end up in prison is where this goes okay. to if so i won't have to knock a teacher head off they motherfucking shoulders okay. and be in prison i pulled my kids out and now i'm the teacher and that's on period so you um, got me fucked up i want to say we appreciate y'all because you know without y'all honestly we wouldn't be able to do a lot of the things that we do today. Exactly. So, okay. I know. wouldn't even have the luxury to be at home with my kids. Facts. Have you? Did you ever think that you would ever get here, like to be able to do this? Well, yes. My uh, my dream was to have, and still is, to have my own salon. That's what I want to have. So my own stop shop, and everything. So I was gonna be the boss of something. I wasn't gonna be working for nobody. My kids gonna be doing exactly what the fuck they do. Chilling. It was gonna happen one way or another. It was gonna happen one way or another. This particular nah, I didn't think this was gonna happen. I didn't think you were gonna happen. But I'm glad. Yeah. It's it's amazing. Well it's I a roller coaster, it but it's either. amazing. It's definitely a roller coaster. I don't think people understand next subject. I don't think people understand how hard it is to be an entrepreneur. You're not speaking in the mic, my baby. Oh. Mm-hmm. I don't think people understand <laughs> how hard it is to be an entrepreneur. Okay. Um and with your experience of, you know, uh, basically you being an entrepreneur now, how do you, how do you feel about it? Um, it ain't for the week. It definitely ain't for the week. Um, <clears throat> they say, um, God gives his, um, strongest, tough, strongest soldiers the toughest battles. Right. Mm-hmm. So, um, this is definitely it. Um, it's not for the week. Um, you can be up. One day you can be down the next day, and I mean, it just is what it is. You can be stressed out one day, you can be happy the next. But with my um journey on this, because I have such a great partner and a great teacher, it's been easy breezy pretty much. She's just trying to figure out what I like. Do you like this? Do you like that? Do you want to do this? Do you, you actually can do every goddamn thing. That's I want my, you to do it all. That, that that's her issue. Everyday, she wants me to do everything. That's my everyday goal. <laughs> But honestly, you've gotten so good at, um, you've gotten so good at just coping with this shit. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I gotta give you your flowers. Well, thank you, baby. You have um, she's gotten way better. Like our communication is way better. Um, moving backwards here lately on uh when to say something and when mm-hmm. not to say something. Mm-hmm. But I think that just comes with the territory of a relationship. Yeah. Um, but <clears throat> I just you are good at everything. Like, for, come on now. Do you know? Let me tell you some shit. So we working on brand kits, right? Because you're doing mm-hmm. yours next. Mm-hmm. My neck. Oh, let me go to the chiropractor. Do you know? I forgot what that girl said the girl name was, but this influencer got sent a thousand dollar vacuum cleaner. I want a vacuum. Uh, I think she got twenty thousand dollars for the brand deal. I want the fucking vacuum. <laughs> I told her. I, I, I said, bet that's a badass vacuum. I told her. I said, my girl just want the vacuum. She went. So want sad. <laughs> the point is, I want the money too, but I really want the vacuum. You can get a vacuum and the money. cleaner brand deal. And the, I need a cleaning deal with cleaning supplies. So holler at me. <laughs> God, baby, Sorry. no, we making a brand kit. I know. Sorry, y'all with the headphones. Sorry. We making a brand kit. Ah, oh, thank you. No. We making a brand kit, and um, you need to start doing some damn cleaning content. That's all I could think about. I was like, if she vacuumed. She want me to do damn cleaning Child, content. if her ass vacuumed every day, them vacuum cleaner companies going to be like, bitch. If they seen the way you could vacuum. <laughs> y'all, I'm telling you, she good at vacuuming. <laughs> How many people you know? It's like her cutting grass. I'm yeah, you. if you don't see them lines, it ain't done right. That child can vacuum. <laughs> you don't see them lines, it ain't she done right. She vacuumed the shit out the couch the other day. I'm trying to yeah. tell you. That looked like a Clayton lady was in here. <laughs> Molly the maid. <Hella. laughs> For real. Listen, all I'm saying is. Baby about just to get want these. me to do every goddamn no, thing. No, because you, listen, we're going to get these she brand kids pop. <laughs> I do everything. <laughs> but she just good at everything she do. Mm. But I'm telling you right now, you get twenty thousand dollar brand deal for vacuum. I'm gonna go vacuum the fuck out this floor in a minute. Don't worry. <laughs> that's all right. I'm gonna oh, do circles okay. in that motherfucker. We about to start recording everything. Everything. That's just... I don't know. I forgot to put out my cleaning um video. It'll, it'll be out. So you so. do have a cleaning video. I do have a cleaning video. I cleaned the bed. I did the laundry. I, yeah. Oh, that's it's, a video. Yeah. See, uh, I just forgot to p- post it. I've been doing my workout stuff, so it didn't fall in line no, with that just yet. So you know, I did me a workout video today. Yeah, it's, either way, y'all the hang of my Instagram. I get it. I get it. Me too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we working on content. Yeah, we working on branding. Get these brand deals, and I promise y'all soon you'll be able to get fun content. Travel content. Okay. Wherever we want to go, whatever we want to do. We already got the kids in order. Thank God. Okay. Come and, on, Jesus. Um, we getting ourselves in order. I got a little bit of stomach to still lose, child. Let's it's leaving me. Huh? It's leaving. You think so? I know so. <laughs> she said she don't want me to lose no weight. Well, that's I a do. lie. She want me to lose weight, but I she do. don't want me to lose um, I just nice want guy. her to know that I love nice her nice. just the way that she is. But and she I does not have to change herself. But I do want her to be healthy. But, baby, do you really think that I'm changing myself for somebody else? No, I know you're changing yourself for you. Right. Yeah, I know so that. So, I, I, it's just because I like all of it. I, I like you. Lord. I know. That's how I bet you. I know. And then when you change, it may be something different. Well, I don't, I don't <laughs> really want to be like... I don't aspire to have a six pack and all that shit. Not that I can't get it, but that ain't, it's, that's really not a goal for me. I want to be healthy. That's it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I want to yeah, be healthy. Yeah, my baby keep talking about she about to lose all her stomach. I didn't know. I don't want no heart issues. Uh, I don't want all these problems. You know, rest in peace, Beast. He was a young man. Okay. He was a big man, you know, um, but. But he was tall, though, so that's what it was. Well, yeah. He was just, tall. He wasn't really big, big at all. God yeah, bless his soul. Yeah, it's just, you know, y'all, we got to be healthy these days, man. And health is definitely And he one. was. Did you not see my man he, boxing he was, and stuff? Yeah, he, and he was, was working the, out, but. Well, first doing. of all, we don't know what happened. So I'm going to just put that out there, you know, yeah. uh, respecting him. I don't know what happened, but all I'm going to say is. He's young, and, you know, the way the world's set up these days, man, mm-hmm. it could be any day, bro. 
Right. So we have to practice like you want to live longer. Okay. No, that's for real. That's, that's really all I can say. Even if you are practicing and you, you know, or somebody's doing that and they pass, whatever, that don't mean you need to stop. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like either way, we all need to work out and, and eat healthy. You know Try what I'm saying? To Try eat to eat, eat as healthy as we can, child. Yeah. I can't even say because, I, I mean, even the healthiest shit can be bullshit. So, Facts. um <clears throat> all I can say is that when you actually indulge in your meal, make sure that you're praying over it. Make sure that you're praying over the hands that made your meal and be done with it. Yeah, I agree with that. That's it. That's all. Oh, That's okay. We can't change it. Okay. <laughs> we done gave y'all 30 minutes. I thought it was going to be uh, 10 minutes. <laughs> no, it ain't going to be no but damn 10 minutes with us. Hopefully it recorded the way we needed it to because um, it should be acting up. I but know. how you like the podcast? How you like this conversation? I like the podcast. She, t- she wanted to get off the podcast because I look tired. But, honey, it's going to be days that I'm tired and a motherfucker on this motherfucker. So, just, just well, be done. So, I'm just trying to figure out what the hell you was trying to do. No, I just don't. <laughs> I don't I don't be wanting to over. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> over. Not overwork you, child, because you ain't, ain't no overworking. But I just don't. If you tired, you tired. Shit. That's how I feel. If you tired, you tired. You don't even allow me to be tired, honey. You don't allow me to be tired. Yes, I do. No. All the things that I was doing in the beginning of a relationship, we're about to argue again. Yeah. All the things I was to... doing in the beginning of a relationship, I don't she, even do that. She shit don't no do more. it no more. But I still I still have that. She in my holds head. She's on like a fucking drill. Head. She's like a drill sergeant in my head. <laughs> she don't I complain. Like everybody say that shit like I'm on the left side of their show. For real. Don't complain. Oh I my don't God. even say that anymore. No, she used to, girl, if you said one thing, like your knee hurt, why you complain? You complain so you much. Know what, well, you know what I want to say? Girl. I think when I, was, when I was doing that, it's hard to, when you are, when you are trying to be motivated and motivate other people, mm-hmm. it's hard for you to hit that shit. Mm-hmm. Because, and then when you're around somebody who don't have legs, <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't want to hear that shit. Mm-hmm. She don't complain about nothing. Okay, no, I'm but I'm just it. letting you know at that time, that's where that was coming from. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us, man, we do be having more complaints than goddamn actions, you know, but I will say I've calmed down on that shit. I don't even, you do what you do. Mm-hmm. I don't even bother your ass no more. Mm-hmm. I can tell you don't, but you still a drill sergeant in my head. <sighs> oh, yeah. Good. I'm glad oh, yeah. what I said a year ago haunts you today. Yeah. And you still telling me I don't even do that no more. I don't. <laughs> when the last time I did it? You did. See? I know. I agree. Okay. Let's go do it now. Can mm-hmm. you? No. I'm going to smoke my blunt. That's what and I'm going to do it to you. Huh? I'm going to use it. Yeah. What she said. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nah, all right, yo. We done with this, man. I hope y'all enjoy it. I hope it turned out right. Let us know what content y'all want to see. You did well podcast at this point this is a podcast channel yeah can we agree and then y'all get some vlogs every once in a while maybe okay all right we love y'all appreciate y'all yeah hell yeah hell yeah